Hey guys, um, this is a project I've been working on for the last um, week or so, and uh, I thought I'd let you guys in on what I've been doing. Um, this is for, I have some pythons, and uh, this is in effort to automate the temperature control and the lights and all that stuff, and so I've programmed a 18F4520 PIC microprocessor to um, read temperature from like eight different temperature sensors and then turn on and off some relays so that the lights and then the heat pads and all that stuff turn on and off when they're supposed to to keep the temperature right and the light come to come on just like it does when the sun comes up and down so um, I'm gonna let you guys see this here is if I can find it. Here is my pick. This is a a C CCS um, prototyping board. Uh, you can pick one up for around forty bucks, but that doesn't include the software and all that other stuff that goes with it. Um, this just made easy connection. Uh, this goes over to my relay box. We got four plugins for lights, and then we got four separate plugins for heat pads. This panel right here, this panel right here, turns on and off uh, dependent on one another. So these all turn on and off at the same time, depending on what the pick decides. These four are separate, separate entities. So if you plug a heat pad into here, it'll turn on and off depending on what the corresponding temperature sensor says. Same with this one, this one, and this one. So if you like snakes, you can do up to four cages. Control four cages very precisely with this. If you wanted to do like say four racks or something you could display four racks you could control four racks and just put a a, a splitter in here so you can hook up multiple heat pads to one outlet all right and then here are all the sensors this is a light sensor this will be put in the windowsill and it'll detect when the sun's up and when the sun's gone away for the night and turn the sensors off and on and then we got two sensors for each cage one's hot side and one's the cold side the hot side is the only one that's important the cool side just lets you know you have your gradient so we got blue for cool side and then we have red for the hot side and there's four sets of these so I made this for two cages and these are just there's both the, for the other cage and the other cage and then the other cage Oop, got tape on myself and then the outlets plug in through this cord plugs into the wall and that powers those and then this is powered by the 9 volt supply right there and then of course the voltage regulator makes it 5 volts for the pick and these are controlled by some relays I got 5 relays So, we're going to take a look at this and see what we got going on over here. This is this is the pick in action. It's reading about 60 67 degrees 
or so and that A to D value is for the lights so if it's higher than 20 it'll turn the lights on um, it's reading low because my house is cold and all the sensors are on the floor I have a I have a separate um, a separate temperature thing that's reading uh, 69 degrees right now so it's off by a degree or so which isn't too terribly bad alright now I'm going to show you this thing in action um, it take too long to show you each and every outlet but I'm just going to show you that the light sensor works so right now there's enough light in this room for this light right here that's shining on me right now to be on it's actually plugged into my box so when I cover the sensor up it'll be dark like it would be at night and it should turn this light off so let's go over here it will take a second because I have delays built in so that because the pick is really fast and I want to be able to for the moment be able to read the temperatures that go by and it's so fast that you wouldn't be able to do that otherwise so alright let's cover it up and then we have to wait a second wait for it oh there it went now if I now if I turn the room light on that'll act as the sun came back up again and the light should turn back on wait for it take it a second oh there it goes so it's working now whenever I get this finished um, that will actually take less than a half a second to happen instead of right now it's it's about 20 20 seconds 20 or 30 seconds in between cycles because I have delays built in between every every single time it prints out a temperature I have it delayed three seconds so in the future it, you'll, it'll actually be almost instantaneous or close so uh, I just thought I'd show you that and I hope you liked it and give me some comments on uh, YouTube when I get this posted up. Thanks.